Hi, welcome back. In today's video, I will be highlighting some keyboard shortcuts, also known as hotkeys, which every Affinity Photo user should be using. Let's start with the one that I probably use the most. Command J, which will duplicate a selected layer. If I press Command J again, it will duplicate again. This brings us to a more generic hotkey used throughout your computer, Command Z to undo your last action. In our case, it will remove the second duplicated layer. To remove a layer, you can also use the backspace key or the delete key. So, now let's have a look on ways how we can navigate in the canvas. One way to navigate in the canvas is by zooming in. If you have a mouse with a scroll button, you should be definitely using the option key. While the option key is pressed, you can use the scroll button on the mouse to zoom in to where your mouse pointer is pointing. While the option key is pressed, you can also zoom out. Especially when you're zoomed in, you probably want to move to another area in the canvas. Meet the spacebar. By holding the spacebar, you can drag your canvas to the area you're interested in. Pretty awesome. If you want to go back to the default zoom, press Command-0 to have the canvas fit in the view. Let's go ahead by making some adjustments to the image. An adjustment that you probably always will need is a curves adjustment. Luckily, there's a shortcut for that. Command-M. This will add the curves adjustment for you. Let me quickly make some curves adjustment which I want to apply to the lips. The curves adjustment now applies to the whole image. In Affinity Photo, the curves adjustment comes with a default mask. And as you can see, the mask is all white, meaning it is applied to the whole image. We can easily invert it by pressing Command I. The mask is now inverted to black, meaning it is not being applied to any place in the image. What we want to do right now is to paint with white on the areas we want to be applied to. So the first thing we need to enable is the brush tool. There is a shortcut for that too, and that is the key B. When painting with masks, you should be always using black and white. A few seconds ago, I deliberately changed the current color to the red to show you the next hotkey to reset your color back to black and white. The hotkey for this is the key D, which probably stands for default. Let me zoom in with the option key pressed and use my mouse scroll button. Paint on the lips with white to reveal the curves effect. You see, I'm using the space key to move around the canvas. If I made some mistakes during the painting with white, I need to correct it with black. Pressing the X key will exchange the selected color and now I can paint with black to erase the effect, allowing me to correct the mistakes I made. Let's zoom out with Command-0 to see the overall effect. Let's zoom back in with the Option key and the mouse scroll button to finish up the lips. There are some smaller areas I need to fix, but the brush size is actually too big. By using the brackets key, I can easily change the size of the brush and finish up the lips. To demonstrate a couple of other useful hotkeys, I will do some retouching on the eyes. Let's use Command J again to duplicate the layer. Move it on top and change its blend mode to screen. This will brighten things up, but I only want it to be applied to the eyes. We need a mask again. I can just add a mask, just as we did with the curves layer and invert it, but a faster way of doing this is keeping the option key pressed while clicking on the mask button. This will create an inverted mask for you. Awesome. Now, let me quickly paint in the eye area. That looks good, but as you noticed, the effect is a bit too much. We need to lower its opacity. Press the V key to activate the select tool and make sure the mask or the layer is selected. If we press a digit on our keyboard right now, it will set its opacity. 
Pressing 3 will set the opacity to 30%. Pressing 6 will set it to 60%, and so on and so on. While you're doing some fine work, it might be useful to work in full screen. Ctrl Command F puts Affinity in full screen. You can even enlarge your working area by pressing the tab key to hide or show the panels. You see by using the hotkeys I mentioned earlier, I can keep painting and making adjustments without the need for the panels and the menu. Pressing Ctrl Command F will exit the full screen, pressing Command 0 will reset the zoom for you. Before I leave, there's one final hotkey I want to share with you, which is the Shift Command N. This will add a new pixel layer. I can use this to paint something on it. In this case, I will just paint with green on top of the eyes on this pixel layer. Setting the blend mode to hue will make the eyes now look greener. That's it for today's video. I had a couple of other shortcuts I wanted to share, but I will share them with a follow-up video. Thanks again for watching.